come to first. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you seeking adventure? Do you like snorkeling? Do you love wonderful beaches? Then you would love to visit WA. Before showing you Perth, we will show you the perfect itinerary from Perth to Exmouth by Campervan. We are Soraya and Kenny. We decided to take a gap year of work and are now traveling full time around the world. It's a crazy adventure and we want to take you along with us. Showing the most amazing beaches, eating around the world, learning about new cultures, discovering the natural wonders, searching for animals in the wild, doing some fun activities and much, much, much more. Welcome to the channel that makes you glow while traveling. We picked up the van and first thing first, groceries. After that, we made a quick but yummy stop at Swan Valley. This is a very good place for your taste buds. Then another short stop at this statue and a break at the beach and dunes. We continued north to Nambong, famous for its pinnacles. Let's say we were very impressed by it. This area is a short drive from Perth, but do yourself a favor and stay at least one night here. The distances are long over here, but it did not bore us. We enjoyed the view and the wildlife along the way, until we made it to Calvary. We stayed here for 4 nights and it was fantastic, and like almost all the places, too short. We easily could have stayed much longer. There is so much to see and do, and of course don't forget to relax, especially in the afternoons, because it can get pretty warm. After a wonderful stay, it was time to move on, even further north. We made our way to Shark Bay area. Ningaroo Relief already starts from here and it's incredible. More about this underwater world later. We stayed for two nights. And an unpopular opinion, skip Monkey Maya. It's not really worth the drive. So, Eagle Bluff. Wow, what an amazing view. You see the spectacular different colors of the ocean. Uh, and we see, saw some sharks, some turtles. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Well, what is a funny stop is Shell Beach. Do not miss this one. We made it safely to Carnegie the place where they are going to uh, give us a new back window, a rear window. Um, the accident happened on Thursday evening, um, so we needed to contact uh, Camplify. And then on Friday, unfortunately, there was uh, nothing in Denham that could help us, so that meant that we needed to leave Denham and go all the way up to uh, Carnivon, where we are now. We still enjoyed our time in Shark Bay, it was a bit different than uh, we had planned for it, but we made it safe up here and now we are going to make the best out of it. So let's check it out, Carnivon, let's go! So we're now here at Boombex, we're going to try out the freshly made breakfast and hopefully uh, it will taste delicious. Yeah. Let's go! They are famous for the smoothies. Yeah. Then up to Eggmouth. We did not want to drive it all in one day. Therefore, we made a stop in Carnarvon. So instead of <laughs> some bakery pastry, we ended up with having a smoothie. Yes, yeah. they don't have any pastry yet at the moment. Or anymore. I... 
Due to our accident, we stayed a bit longer than we initially had planned. But one night should be more than enough. So who had at fault that there will be a, a space museum in Canarvon? Just found out that it's pronounced as Canarvon. Anyhow, we just have been to NASA a couple of months ago in Houston. And I must say, this one was also really good. It's tiny. Uh, it's really local, but they explain everything really well. And we even have some simulation and, and we saw uh, extraordinary things and even bought a souvenir. down. That's it. Okay. Oh wow. Right, the door to be closed. Yes. Okay. Now we do the what's the time? Up to the moon! <laughs> Welcome to Cactus Garden. Cactus Garden is just a garden in somebody's garden, <laughs> in backyard, a front yard. So they ask for small donations. Finally fixed and we're gonna celebrate with some pizza. There are a couple of things to do there, but it's still a very small town. We stayed on a very cool campground, maybe one of the best quality price-wise. We even had pizza night. Up to the Crème de la Crème, Exmouth. The Ningaroo Reef hits differently here. You don't need to do a fancy tour. Just grab your snorkel and walk from the beach into the waters to enjoy the amazing underwater world. This is what we did for four days, but we could have stayed longer here. Morning, it's not that hot yet, so we are going to, to do a small walk. There are fruit beds in those trees, really cool. Using the camera as binoculars. <laughs> There is more than only the underwater world. There are many more things to do and see in the national park. Great to do some morning hikes. We are 
at the Mando Mando Gorge and we are going through a little track because it's getting really warm so we want to start security in the day and it's only three kilometers kilometers. So let's do this. In the closet way back I won't be needing that I won't be needing that So Soraya Why do you have a net on your face? <laughs> the goddamn flies! I'm going to Exmouth is a cute little town. Just make sure to check the opening hours. This is basically it. We hope you find this itinerary helpful for planning your own adventures. Make sure to check out our other videos where we go into deep about each place. We hope you liked it and thank you for watching 